Right, Joe, I've got to start off with uh, Russ Penn. Uh, it's a player that you will know well from his time at Cheltenham. Yeah. Um, what, what, what do you feel about uh, the chance of taking on him on Saturday against York? Um, yeah, looking forward to it. Um, Penn was a great lad when he was here, but um, yeah, no, it's going to be it's, it's going to be a good challenge, isn't it? It'd be good, great to come up against Penn. I think he's looking forward to coming back, and um, obviously, yeah, we're looking to make a mark on him, and you know, what, looking forward to the game. Yeah. Yeah, and he, I think he was one of the players who, who took you under his wing a little bit. Him and Marlon, they, they offered you plenty of advice, didn't they, when you were, when you were on the fringe of the first team, so we always be grateful for that. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, he kind of looked after me a lot when he was here, and we always go out early doors and before training and that, and uh, yeah, I know it was weird when he told me he was leaving, it was a bit like, well, he said, look, you'll, that'll happen in football, a lot of players will move on in that, and I guess it was weird at the time, but now getting used to it, coming up against different players this season already. Um, so yeah, it's just another game now, and obviously against against Penner. But um, yeah, looking forward to it, and uh, hopefully yeah, we we'll get one over on him. Yeah, the one thing you know you're going to get with Russ is work rate, isn't it? He's going to he's never going to give you a minute's piece. So what what's it like coming up against a player like that? Who, but you know what you know what to expect from him at least, don't you? Yeah, that's it. Uh, Penner's a ratter, isn't he? He'll rat and rat and he'll run all day. Um, but yeah, no, something to look forward to, and um, yeah, it'd be nice to nice to talk to him afterwards. But yeah, he got a job to do on Saturday, and um, hopefully do that first. Yeah, it was a massive effort from everyone at Cambridge on, on the midweek, and then the manager said he's a bit worried about you on Saturday. Did, did you have a bit of a knock, or do you think it was just fatigue? That you know, the reason why did he, did he explain why he left you on the bench? Uh, I think he just wanted to change it up a little bit. Um, I'm always ha- I'm always raring to go, and um, but no, Saturday I think he just he just said he wanted to just change it up a little bit, go with something different, and. Um, yeah, it might. I don't know to be honest, but um, yeah, no, it just obviously didn't quite work out on Saturday um, for whatever reason. Um, but no, it's a new game now, isn't it? This week and a, a new challenge. So yeah, I look forward to it. Yeah, if you if you were off, offered this amount of appearances, you know, having only really started one game, I think you'd only started one game before this season, hadn't you? Uh-huh. Would you have taken that at this stage? <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think so. Yeah, and obviously now I'm doing now I'm in this position. You just want to keep playing and playing. Um, it's obviously I appreciate the gaffer for giving me the chance at the start of the season, and hopefully I repaid him. So um, yeah, I'll just do all I can to try and stay in the team for as long as I can, and um, I'll keep going. Yeah, keep working hard. Yeah. Ever since the, the moment you went on against Berry and obviously scored the winning goal, do you feel like you've taken it all in your stride? Lead to football, do you feel like you, you've coped with it? Do you feel at home in there? Yeah, I hope so. Um, I hope that's shown. Like I've been, I've been enjoying every day. Um, yeah, it was great to come on, and obviously great to get the winner at Berry and. Um, yeah, just taking every day as it comes, um, and take every game as it comes, and I'll keep working hard and keep trying to impress. He had such a great start in August. Then you had a, obviously had a bad September. October was was better with the, the back-to-back wins. Uh-huh. What, what's what's the feeling now? What, are you just about where you want to be at this stage? You know, you sort of on a par. Would you say at the moment? Um, yeah, definitely. I think um, we're just outside the playoffs, aren't we? So we've, all, we've got a chance of getting back in. I think. Um, and yeah, you know what? The boys, the boys are always doing well. They're always working hard in a. Um, yeah, we're always we're always wanting to do better. Um, obviously, yeah, we started brilliantly, and then we obviously come off it a little bit. But um, yeah, I think we're hopefully getting back on back on track again. So take that into Saturday in York. Yeah, and just finally, Joe, what do you think you need to do to obviously you play well this season, but to, to make yourself undroppable almost? You know, to, to really nail down a place rather than in for a few games, maybe out for a couple. Mm-hmm. You know, what, is there anything specific you've been told that you need to, to do or improve on that just to be to, you know, to be one of the first names on the team sheet? Um, I've sat down with Sean and had a chat with him, and it's just I just got to do my best. I mean, I try and try and keep performing well, and trying to yeah, I'll do my best to stay in the team. I want to be in the team every week, so um, obviously it's up to the manager. But yeah, I'll do I'll do all I can to try and do that, and um, hopefully it happens. Yeah.